you are a neat mds aspirant you just want to know how to attempt an mcq you don't want to commit silly mistakes you are at the right place hi hello and welcome to dr ashwin dental info in this video i'll be telling you the ultimate trick to solve any dental mcq before that let me tell you you have four options you are already seeing the answer in front of you you just have to choose the answer you do not find the answer but the problem which comes here is all the other options also seem like correct answers so we must not fall into the traps set by the examiner so what should we do we should have a proper technique to attempt an mcq we must follow it in the practice test the mock test and also improve it and improvise it during your final examination so that you can get the seat of your choice coming to the techniques the first thing is you read the question and answer completely you read the question fully you read all the four options and then come back to the question and then try attempting the answer normally what we do is as soon as we read the question we try attempting the answer and that's where we go wrong you read the question you read all the four options read the question again and then try attempting this is the first technique if you follow this technique there is high chance that you will never commit silly mistakes the second thing is identifying the distractors uh, as i said in the previous video a few things like all of the following are something except and then uh, words like not um, meaning to say in a question there will be like these procedures do not require gingivoplasty and in case we miss uh, miss the word not the the question actually makes a different sense so we must be careful about that other than all of the above and there is another concept called as the double distractor question which i will be discussing later in this video so this is what and the next thing is visualizing your condition uh you are reading a question you are reading the answer and you still cannot get get to the correct answer you must visualize it what i am meaning to say is there will be a lot of general questions with general symptoms like the patient has arthralgia weakness and he has multi system disorders and he has rashes all over the body his face arms etc and you cannot particularly derive at an answer but when you visualize the condition you are visualizing like he, she, uh, he or she has rashes on the face you immediately get the answer as malar rash and the disease is sle so that's what visualizing the condition will actually do and the next thing you can do is if you cannot derive at an answer you just uh, you just uh, need to remember where you studied in which book did you read in which chapter did you read come to a point uh, for example if you are reading pharmacology if you if you get a question on pharmacology just remember in which place you studied pharmacology okay i studied it in my bedroom okay that the that book had pharmacology uh, this must be in the chapter 6 so i i read the question somewhere around here if you can imagine that much the brain can even give you the answer it feels it feels like an hallucination but yeah it works and the next thing is identifying the keyword every question will have a keyword but fact based questions will not have a keywords like bell's palsy is a paralysis of you just need to know the answer there is nothing called as a keyword here but uh, when when there are long questions whether when the when the question is around uh, 10 to 12 lines and you read the huge question there will be two to three keywords if you find them you can almost find the answer straight away so identify the keywords you have done all these now and you have arrived at an answer what you must do is you put the answer in the question and verify that uh, for example the same example bell's palsy is a paralysis of facial nerve if the if you if you think that the facial is the answer you finish the sentence and read it to read it to yourself bell's palsy is the paralysis of facial nerve if you find it is it is feeling un- uncomfortable reading that sentence there is high chance that it is going to be going wrong and uh, this can be done only only by practice uh, by practice you can almost almost find which one will reward you and which one will not so that's the thing and remember you have 45 seconds for a question and you averagely we will spend 30 seconds for a question the remaining 15 seconds we will spend it in another question but just know that time management is a very important factor and uh, the time you lose in one question will be utilized in the other question so the time will be ideal for you so coming to the double distractor part uh, what is a double distractor part i will tell you with the live demo so see this mcq the mcq goes like this the following condition does not create gingival defects necessitating gingivoplasty except and the options are given below if you are seeing the question and you are directly uh, trying to arrive at an answer you can arrive at the answer as anag but it will take some time because there are lot of distraction which is does not create the following conditions all the following does not except and things like that so what you do in double distraction is 
you eliminate the odd words and you eliminate the negative words the odd word is a except so you cancel it and the negative word is a not so now if you read the question the following condition creates gingival defects necessitating gingivoplasty and you can easily arrive the answer as anak now so this is what double distraction actually is and also be careful about the single distractors like except other than as i said previously in this video so the take home message today is read your question and answer fully visualize the condition identify the keyword check your answer twice identify the distractor remember we have 45 seconds for each question think where you read that question during your preparation don't skip a question without reading it completely just know that you already have the answer in front of you and you just have to choose the right ones i wish you to choose the right ones and if you wish that this video deserves a like please give me one and subscribe i also have a instagram page where i post a lot of content based on dentistry and etmds preparations do follow me there too thank you